One of the things that uh, I have had the privilege of doing is to visit hundreds of schools. As a school inspector, I visit schools and of course my responsibility is to observe observe behavior of the teachers, of the children, of the young people generally. And you know what? One of the best things I notice is how our Muslim youngsters behave. Nine times out of ten, the teachers tell me how our Muslim children are really well behaved. Good example, especially the girls, but also the boys. They're well behaved, they relate to, to each other, they respect their teachers. They show respect for uh, the school and, and, and all the facilities that they've got, they take full opportunities. And I'm so proud of that when I hear that. Because when I come back home and I'm part of the Muslim community, go to the Muslim community center, they tell me, oh, our youth are going astray and they're, they're, they're not behaving. This is a completely different picture. So what I would really suggest is that there's a balance here. Those who make us proud are the ones who show that they are role models. They are following in the footsteps of those who really walk the streets where other people watch them and say, there goes somebody I want to be like. I'd like all our youngsters to be like. He behaves well, he will never cheat me, he will never hurt me. He will always be polite. He will do things which are noble, which are respectful, which are really giving humanity something to be proud of. Because the future belongs to our young people. That's why I'm so proud when I hear non-Muslim teachers saying to me, you know, Muslim children are really well behaved. That comes from our culture. That's from our past of our tradition. Some children forget, our, uh, forget that sometimes, but it's not difficult to remind yourself in the way we behave, the way we relate to people. Just simple things like walking down the streets, you meet somebody, you say, good morning, with a smile. You know, go in, walk into the school and in the playground, you meet the people, you say, good morning, good afternoon. If there's a Muslim boy or a girl, you say, Assalamu Alaikum. If there's a Sikh boy, you say, Satriya Sakal. Or if there is a Hindu child, you say, Namaste. So you show respect. You respect people for who they are. Because they are fellow human beings. You respect them for who they are. So that they can relate to you and find out the best in you. Because Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi has taught us. He says, that you should always look for the best in each other. You should always look for the best. No matter how difficult it is to relate to somebody, there's always something good in him. Always, you know what it's like in families. Sometimes you, you have aunties who are difficult and they, you know, sometimes they come home to, as guests and you're, you know, you're likely to say, oh, not that auntie. And your parents will say, don't say that. Because he's your auntie. You must respect your aunties. You must give, show respect to your elders. And you know what? If you respect and find out how to deal with difficult people and show respect, then it will reflect on your own personality. Your own personality will show through because you are the one who is being looked at and judged by others. And if you show respect to others, others will admire that. Because that's the way you make room for your improvement in your own life. There's so much to do with your life that don't forget, it's really you who make the choice. The choice is yours. You know, you decide who you want to be. The gift of life is yours. You've got to decide what to do with that life of yours. It's such a precious gift. Life is a precious gift. Be inspired by those who show respect to others. I'm sure you can read biographies of people and so on. For us, the best biography is that of Rasulullah because he showed how to meet a whole variety of people. Badawins who came from the desert, who had no culture, no traditions, no values, and yet he showed them great respect. 
elderly people who threw you know rubbish on him and yet he showed respect to them when this woman who used to regularly throw and one day she wasn't there and he said where is she and somebody said he, she's ill he went actually to meet her to show look after her and she became a muslim i mean that's the way that rasulullah has taught us how to relate to others difficult people as well as easy easy people is common sense but difficult people if they are being racist, if they are being obnoxious, if they are being bigoted, discriminatory, you show respect. You keep your calm. You show how humanity is part of you. You are part of a society, of a culture, of a tradition where really human beings matter. To be human is what matters at the end of the day. Because you want to live your life to the full, show other people how to live that life too. Give respect and you receive respect. You don't demand respect, you earn respect from the way that you behave with others, how to deal with difficulties. And this is something that doesn't come easy. You have to work for it. And that is something you can learn from your parents, your teachers, your elders and your educators.